this is. You said you're gonna use all the bolts, right? Yeah, we use new ones. Uh, which are right in the bag. Yep. Does this matter where it goes? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> What? You're not my dad! <laughs> Say it again. Can I put Loctite on these? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, sure these are longer. Is it? Yeah, we can't use these either. Where's the other ones? Yeah, right? Those are longer? These are shorter. Yeah. Those are longer. Yeah, those are for all the fire. So basically, half this freaking kit is useless. We didn't use a harness, we didn't use a flywheel. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? I used the old harness off the old engine. And it came with a new one? It came with a new harness, but I didn't want to risk it like a plug being different. So. I didn't even bother. I didn't want to go through the whole thing if something's off. Because, like, see, this one has like an uh, extra. Huh? Uh, they're not lining up. Alright, so we thought it wasn't going to work because uh, it wasn't lining up with the crank. Right here. So you gotta twist it. Oh, I thought it was the biggest white guy in Texas. What? What? Yeah, measured Dean in the cut. Heard the biggest white guy. Huh? Whatever. Yeah, it's there right, right there. there. Now we're good to go. That's it. More hard. Round two. Oh shit. Water. 
Oh damn. So now we're gonna install the headers, everything else is good to go. And we also have to install the alternator and then we're ready to drop it in. We got the starter in as well. All the grounds are connected. Transmission's wired up. There's not really much left. We gotta lift it from the back. It's hitting that right there. Lift the motor? Yeah, the transmission in the back. We gotta get the jack under. Oh. How are you supposed to take that starter off? Yeah, I told you you can't. You see this? Yeah. I told you, you gotta take out the header to reach the starter. What? That's it, headers are on. Um, we installed the O2 sensors. Now we're gonna just bolt down that starter with one more bolt and then line it up and drop it down. Compressor's going out last because these trans lines have to run through it and then if the compressor's in the way, it's not gonna go, it's not gonna fit. So that's it. Set up this camera and then slowly lower the car and hopefully everything lines up. This is how you check if your cradle's lined up. Spray it. If it drips in the hole, it's in there. That's on the wrong, but okay. <laughs> Ready to go. Yeah. Turn this one on. Ready?
sure we can spin the end. Yeah. That's it, the motor's in. Now we've got to button the things up on the bottom, install the trans mount, the four bolts, and then uh, get the exhaust on. Just small things, really. You need that big block. Yeah. Where is it? Right behind Transmount was installed. We have this little guy that pulled up to watch. And now we're gonna install the compressor. Steering columns installed. The evap wires or hoses are installed. Trans lines are hitting. Oh, we took the studs out of them. Yeah. Hey, we needed the studs for this engine anyway. Suspension is done. We're just gonna make sure everything's tight, go through a second check just to be safe. And we have to install the exhaust hangers right over here. And we're ready to go back down. On top, we only got the heater core hoses. We gotta install the serpentine belt. And that's really it. And plug in the fuel supply line.
So we got the belt, heater core, uh, supercharger lines, and this one over here for the reservoir. And that's really it. And then the power going through the fuse box. Yeah. Oh, and then the, what do you call it? And the uh, PCM. Yeah, we'll see which one we use. We'll try yours first. We'll try the original one first. Yeah. See if we'll start it. Top it off with oil. And we gotta prime it. Well, this guy can fill up on prime it and start it up. We'll see if it starts. Well, that's it. She's in there. Thank you.